Hey guys, as we uh, look forward to Easter and as we enter Holy Week, I want us to look at a passage of scripture in John chapter 13, verses 3 to 5. And this is what it says. Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything, and that he had come from God and he would return to God. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel he had around him. Last week, my youngest daughter, Shiloh, took the uh, Crayola crayon that is only to be used on her little flip chart board and took it downstairs to where our music entertainment center is and put a big mark <laughs> of the crayon on the side of it on the wood. And when this took place, uh, we were trying to figure out who did it and we really weren't quite sure, but finally we figured out that Shiloh had done this. And my wife had asked me to go and start cleaning it off the side uh, of the entertainment center. And so I'm you know, scrubbing with water and trying to dry it off at the same time. And all of a sudden, this thought hit my mind. Why am I doing this? I mean, I didn't, you know, take the Crayola crayon and mark on that. She did. I'm, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll go get Shiloh and have her come down here and do it. And about that time, I got a little prompting that just reminded me of this story in which Jesus washes the feet of his disciples that had been dirtied and mucky and had all kinds of nasty stuff on their feet as they walked into that room because of his love for them. You see, in Jesus' day, the person who was responsible for washing the feet of everyone was the household slave because uh, everything got thrown into the road. Human waste, animal waste, you name it. And so when people would walk into house, their feet would just be filled with filth. And Jesus then goes and he washes each of their feet as a sign of letting them know that even when they mess up, when they have filth there, that he'll wash them and make them clean and make them whole. And while I was wiping that off because my daughter had kind of disobeyed and gone against the grain, uh, I just felt so compelled to be able to be reminded of what God did for me. And so this week, I hope you'll be reminded that Jesus washes our feet and makes us whole and clean, and he calls us to do that uh, to others when they offend us. Have a great one, and we'll talk to you later.